It was the end of 15th century. Poland, a land of many subcultures, was split up into regions. The country was collapsing, its power was weakening, and its wealth divided among so many leaders was melting before their eyes. There were two most powerful groups, the hooligans and the punks. Only the unification of the country would return into power and splendor. There were, however, many pretenders to the royal throne, as each of regional leaders dreamed of the crown. As you can easily guess, the country was torn apart by the countless battles, and each leader believed that he alone and should become king of the country. The main pretenders to the Polish crown were Władysław Łukietek, the leader of one of the most powerful groups, Polygans, and Wacław II, the boss of rebellious times. Wacław, who wrote in Krakow, was rich and famous. Łukietek moment to time, but much smaller, a weaker army. Despite Wacław's training with all his might to repel the attacks of his opponent, his army got smaller day by day. Many of his mates, hooligans, died in the battles taking place around Krakow, while others were taken into slavery. He was very often advised to serve away. Władysław, however, was blessed with unusual power and strong body, and he promised to fight no matter what. The decisive battle was about to come somewhere in Krakow. Hey, mate, we have to give up. We lost the many of our might. They aren't able to find anymore. They don't want to be hooligans. They like the normal people to know. No chance to defeat Wacek. No, there is no power which persuades me to resign. The crown of Poland must be mine. Our biggest enemies, the Pans, have been here for too long. I promise to fight for Poland till the last drop of blood. Get ready for the final battle soon, my friends. Don't be afraid. Remember, pulling us our power. <laughs> Okay, but I have one condition. 
Yes, you can go to KFC and buy hot wings. Yes. Mother gives to Raiden food, food and basket. Her in apple, banana, tea bags, jam, nuggets, and Hawaiian pizza. Grandma is on a diet. She wants to lose a few kilograms. Oh yes, she's a little overweight. Riley Hood, you have a very nice cup, but you're too cold to walk in it. Yes, yes, Auntie. Maybe I will put on plenty house too. Of course, it's wonderful. Oh, go to sleep. Riding Hood goes through the pole. Once upon a time, there was a very nice man. He was a widower because his wife died a long time ago. However, he wasn't alone because he had a beautiful daughter. How are you, my sweetheart? Are you okay today? I'm fine, buddy. And you? You must be sad. I'm not sad. Why do you think so? Do I look sad or unhappy? No, you don't. But I think you should be happier if you married someone. Maybe you're right, my sweetie. But I don't want anyone. You know how much I love your mother. I can forget her. But I've got you. I don't need anyone else. But daddy, one day I need someone and I need someone. You will be lonely. I don't want you. You're so sweet, my darling. You make me happy every day. And even if one day you will leave home, I will be glad because you will be happy. They lived together very happily. However, one day the man got married again and everything changed. Thank you. 